Hello and welcome to 824 Clay Street, Troy, Ohio. Here we're standing on the sidewalk walking up to the front of this home. A couple things to point out, the whole house has been completely painted. Um, the garage as well, we have an oversized one car garage that you can't see from here. I'll show you once we finish up the front here. But it's been painted as well, it's all cinder block. It's a one car, but it's a big, big one car. Front porch here, this has been recently painted as well and a huge front porch. It's all covered. And we do have a back porch as well and a patio off of the garage. We have three doors that we can go in here. This door is not really in use um, because this is a bedroom, but this door takes us into the living room. This door takes us into the dining room. We're gonna go through this door and start our video, but before we do go inside, we're gonna go check out this huge backyard. I'll meet you out back. All right, so here I'm in the backyard, kind of in the back alley here. We have an alley here where you can get to the garage. Yeah, as you can see, this is definitely an oversized garage, really maybe the size of a small two-car garage. Uh, we're gonna call it an oversized one-car garage, and that's all cinder block construction, very beefy. There's a gate that where we can go into the backyard, and this is a double gate too, so um, maybe a small car or a big mower you can get back here. Roof is newer. The garage and the house were just recently painted. Yard is completely fenced with a six foot privacy fence. There's a gate on this side and there's a gate on the other side. The, off the garage, we have a patio area here, concrete and pavers, and there is a service door going into the garage there. And then we have a little covered back area uh, covered back porch, if you will. And the roof looks in really good shape. And then goes all the way up to kind of the co front corner of the house. So really good sized backyard and there's a gate there as well. Next, let's go take a look at the inside. All right, so here it just came through the front door and there's actually multiple front doors that you could come in, but this is the one if you walk straight ahead on the front porch to get to. So we're, with this, I'm calling this, I think, the dining room in here. Looks like it has the waterproof flooring in here. And this home has a lot of updates, but it still has a lot of character and charm, like the original woodwork. Uh, we're a little shadows are messing with us here. There we go. We can kind of see there with the nice, you know, rosettes and the oversized trim. Just a lot of character, a lot of original doors in here. A huge walk-in closet here. You can throw your games in here or put some more shelves and make it a gigantic pantry. But I would say dining room here, little office desk area right here, leads us into the kitchen. And the fridge and the range do stay. Looks like we have a new countertop in here. And that flooring runs all the way through here and this is not too old. Same flooring in our laundry room. Back door to our right, which we've already seen in the backyard. There's that covered back patio. Updated windows. And the washer and dryer stay as well. Plenty of shelf space to put your detergents. And if you wanted to throw cabinets up there, there's plenty of space to do that as well. Updated window in the kitchen as well. So walking through the kitchen, our dining room, we're going to go to our living room. And to our right is where we get to the upstairs bedrooms. We'll check those out here momentarily. There's another front door over here. So you could use that as your front door, whatever you wish. And this is laminate flooring in here. This door takes us to the basement, which is where our mechanicals are. And this is not the type of basement where you're gonna have a pool table. You know, maybe some, some light storage and things like that, but very cool solid wood door with the trim there. Bathroom has been updated, modernized. New flooring in here. Looks like we have a newer vanity and the shower tub in here. And this is updated window two and that has like the, uh, what they call it, the tempered glass or whatever so you can't see in. So good size living room. And then, and here's definitely an original door. Very cool. And then this is the first bedroom. And there is a door here too. So this could be your main living room if you wanted to, but currently we have a closet over here, so it's being used as a bedroom. Oversized baseboard, original trim in here too. Carpet's not very old either. I think this might be just like a year or two old. 
updated windows throughout this room as well. So every window on the first floor has been updated. Both of those exterior doors have been updated. And then I'm not sure if this door is original or not, but that is not a steel door, that's a wood door there. Okay, next, let's go check out the upstairs. All right, so here we just came upstairs. There's two bedrooms up here. This is the first bedroom immediately to our left upon entering. And this doesn't look real big, but this is actually a huge closet. I actually may open this up. Way bigger than it looks, and I have no idea what's beyond there. There's a lock on there. I don't have the code for that, but I'm guessing probably just attic access and storage in there would be my guess. Carpet looks to be in really good shape up here. Paint, everything looks good. Hallway window is newer, and so is that bedroom one. And then this would be our third bedroom, and this is a huge bedroom here. Claws over here to the left, three windows, and all three of these windows in this room have been updated. This window here overlooks the front, so that's the street right there. And the house does have central air conditioning. Window unit, probably just supplemental, kind of like a zone control here. And then our closet here with a hanging rack all the way over. So it does go from there all the way over to there. So that's the second floor. Next, I'll meet you on the first floor for a few closing statements. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they would be happy to show this fine home to you. A house like this in Troy, that truly this is pretty much move-in condition here. I don't see much, if anything, that needs to be done other than you know, maybe you want to change a paint color for a bedroom for your taste or a kid or something, but this place is squared away, you can move right into it. And at this price, this will surely move quickly. So don't hesitate, come take a look at this today. Um, it's vacant, so you can get moved in right away on this home. And just trying to give you a final look at the first floor before we sign off here. So thanks for watching and we look forward to talking to you.